Okay, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to solve quadratic functions with graphing. Um, we're going to use this formula right here, y equals 2x squared minus 4x minus 5. And we're going to solve it. It should look something like this. That's called a parabola, by the way. So, here's the formula that you would use y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which the numbers are 2 is a, negative 4 is b, and negative 5 is c. So, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to try to find the center point, or the minimum on this, in this case, right here. Which you can use to, you can find it with this formula, x equals negative b over 2a. When we substitute the numbers in, b is negative 4, negative 4, a is 2, times 2 is 4. Then, you're going to just go ahead and solve that out, which w you'll come out with x equals 1. So, 1 is your center point on the x axis. So, about 1 right there is your center point. So, we're going to use this center point in a graph. Okay, now, in order to solve a quadratic function using graphing, you have to have a table like this one right here. Now, you're going to use your number that you found as the center, which is 1, and you're going to put it in the x column. Don't want it underlined. 1. Then you're going to put and go down 1 and put a 0, and then go down 1 again and do negative 1. These are going to be your these sides this side right here. Now, you're going to want to go up one and do two, again, not underlined, and then go up one again and do three. So, you're going to put those numbers through your equation and see what we get for y. Okay, got my calculator right here that will help me solve this. Probably not, but it will. Okay, so, if you have a graphing calculator, then this will it'll do all this work for you and you won't have to do anything. So moving on. If we put three through the equation, three times three times two equals eighteen. Then you're gonna do eighteen eighteen minus four times three, which is twelve, minus five equals one. So for three you got one. Now if you do this right with the center number this number and this number and this number and this number should be the same. So I'm just gonna go ahead and test that to see if that holds true. So I'm gonna run negative one. Okay so now I'm going to do negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 1 is obviously 1. Negative 1 times 2, or positive 1 times 2, is 2 plus 4, because the negative 1 times a positive, or negative 4 is positive 4. That equals 6. Minus 5, and you get 1. Now, you're going to look for an easy one to do out of these next two because easy is always better in math, right? So, we're going to use zero because zero will always be the easiest. You're just going to... because zero times anything is zero. So, that's going to be zero and that's going to be zero. So, you have negative five. So, zero is going to be negative five and you assume that two is also going to be negative five. You're going to see if your equation's right once you go to finally solve it.
which you know so one this is going to be your middle term or your middle x value which should be about there so let's run one through this one times one is one one times two is two minus four minus five and you should get negative seven so one is negative seven okay now for the graph I'm gonna be a bit more detailed just so you can actually see what the graph looks like so you get the points and I'm gonna graph them three and one three on the x one on the y so I'm gonna go over three on two three and up y, one on the y one point then I'm gonna go two and negative five one two negative one two three four five then I'm gonna go one negative seven one negative one two three four five six seven Um, then negative one and one, which should be right across from there. Negative one and one. Perfect. Now we're going to graph the parabola by connecting the dots. So, you can draw a line straight through there to that dot. Now obviously, if you're actually drawing this, it might look neater and curvier. And there is a parabola. How to solve a quadratic functions using this equation right there. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.